and welcome aboard for anyone who's watching this on YouTube. Uh, we just finished with Whispering Willows, where well, we're, we're finishing with a lot of the games early. So yeah, we have about an hour and 15 minutes left from this stream, so we're moving on to Mythargia. Okay. Recently? We should have this one recently recent, so... Recently recent. <laughs> Rather recently, better wording. Okay. Uh, I can't see the game. Yeah, give me a second. The, the preview needs to be front and center. There better? we go. Okay. Much better. Yeah. Mythargia. This game, I've heard it be described as a 2D Silent Hill-like. So, yeah, let's get started on. We showcased it rather recently. And I am curious about where the hell it's going. Let's see. Yeah. Move, shift, space, interact, activate and deactivate flashlights. Is flashlight special? Okay. Yeah, you know which one that was. Let's see. The island is indeed where the voice said it will be. There was very little information to be found about what had transpired here. I have to gather enough evidence for my article to convince the public this will be the story of the decade. Okay. Yeah, here we are again. A reporter who came here based on something? A voice? Oh, I should dry my shoes before I go further. Were we called, told, or did we hear something? Hmm, a lot of unknowns. Let's see, a shack key. The cure. The local sanitarium is researching a drug for curing the battle fatigue that has plagued our soldiers. Many suffering from the symptoms have volunteered for the tests. We could not reach the good doctor for an interview. Okay. Fireplace, need something to burn. Are you talking about PTSD? Probably. I think that is what battle fatigue used to be called. I think we asked, I think we said the very same thing when we showcased this. Yeah, I, I, I don't I think call it a battle fatigue is a. How to say this? Understatement? Very much so, yeah. Uh, like, it was a hand wave? An old man and someone unknown. There's no hatch here, or at least none that we can find. Hmm. Okay. If I recall correctly, we have a journal or something. Anything else here? Nothing else to see. Just uh, gonna PTSD is a serious thing. Definitely and, not something to joke about. Yeah, and I can probably why I'm almost annoyed by that here they call it battle fatigue for they did they, they back then they did not realize how how serious it was. Yeah. And it's serious. Very serious. As you explore, you can write journal entries and take photos. The entries and photos will be the evidence for your article about Mythagia. This is Beware bear traps ahead. Yep. What is that sound? Um. Bear trap. If you get stuck in a bear trap, you can escape by repeatedly pressing the interact button. Uh, uh, it's... <laughs> okay, it's the sound of the bear trap, quote, shimmering. Now... Nom nom, says the bear trap. Dope. Okay, we just plain die from that <laughs> if we take too long. Okay. Well, it makes sense for it is said to take uh, to trap a bear, and it happened to a human is um, overkill. Yeah, yeah we can. Sense? Yeah, we can jump over them, but we have only a rather small jump. Okay, let's keep an eye out. Uh, hello. Yeah. <coughs> no, not Jack, the guy. Okay, stranger casts acid spray, and now we're we're tripping like <laughs> like we're on acids. 
The curse. The sanatorium of Mythargia is the last place you'll ever, uh, you will ever see. The slumber will devour you and all you will uh, be is nothing. Praise be to the slumber and all that is the island. This will be your last warning. Proceed and you will cease to exist. Well, that's quite a bit more ominous. Three, two, two. one. Don't trust the outsiders. I suspect that their motivations are not pure, and after confronting Maximilian about it, he pushed me into this pit. I can't get out of here. If anyone finds this letter, please bury my remains in my family grave next to my wife Lily. Gull Smithson. Okay. Good that they offer this, because some of this is a bit annoying to read. Yeah, I kind of like that dude, that, especially with this very fancy handwriting. Like, you can, if you can read, wonderful. So it's not as an immersion, but uh, it's good to have that option. Yeah, and well, writing in cursive and reading cursive is a pain in the ass, both. Yeah. I, I'm lucky I was born around where they, they still taught it, but they soon shortly enough to stop teaching it, but they realized, yeah, people don't have too much use of cursive anymore. Yeah, that I was, well, they attempted to teach me it, but, well, beyond the fact that I'm, ge I'm genetically left-handed, and they, well, tried to you know, force me to, well, they forced me to write right-handed, well, after that, and, yeah, cursive was just plain impossible for me. Wait, <laughs> what? They, they tried to force you to use right hand? It shouldn't matter what time you use when you write cursive. <laughs> That it, uh, yeah. Nowadays, I think schools are a lot more or get, uh, understanding about it if someone is left or right-handed. But back when I was in school, yeah, it was writing right-handed or not writing at all. What so, the yeah. heck? The, the people were accepting my school. Only in Sweden, we, no one cared if you were right or left-handed. You were allowed to write with the hand that was just dominant. It was encouraged to use your dominant hand. So, me hearing that did this where you lived? Surprised me. Yeah, or maybe it was supposed to be understood, but... Yeah, or maybe my handwriting just sucked at a genetic level or anything. Like, technically I could consider my, I would consider myself to be ambidextrous, but like, I do certain things with right and certain things with left. Uh, more... But yeah, my overall my handwriting is just absolutely terrible. I can write very nice, but if I'm just writing quickly, it will look like a mess. But when I take <laughs> just calm down and want to write it clear and nice, I can really write nice. Let's see. Also, let me check something. I should yeah. be able to see on my phone if the category and title have successfully been changed. So let right, me just check here. We do it, we film my drink. Stream manager. Uh, let's see, stream Be info. Sure. Okay, according to this, it should be okay. But let me just hit save all the same. And I see we have a lurker. <laughs> or rather, we have two at the moment, it seems. Let's see. Research entry three. X1, XX2. Okay, that's a date of some sort. I'm guessing it's supposed to be illegible. It does work. After multitudes of experiments and attempts, I finally managed to travel to this place. I, if I can determine the right amount of the extract, I can control exactly where I go. Maybe I can find a way to help my and the community from it. Okay. And what about screen share? Hmm? But if you heard yourself say screen something? No. Uh, Hello. Hello. Yep, bye bye. Yeah, we don't have time for flesh golems or blood golems. Of course, I went to grab a red drink. Wonderful. Okay. By red, mm -hmm. I mean it's raspberry flavor. Hello. Received the priest photo. Leonas. Greetings, stranger. I haven't seen you in these parts before. Can I assist you? 
Greetings, priest. I'm looking to find my way to the local sanatorium. Could you tell me how to get there? Why, of course. There's a graveyard and small patch of forest just past this church. Yeah, passing through those, you'll come to the sanatorium. It is a big and rather modern-looking building, so you can't miss it. Also, this, this portrait looks like they're made for a freaking uh, puppet master or something. Yeah, I, I, I don't know the artist's name, but it, it feels like it, 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 uh, similar to like the artworks you expect to see as a something that's supposed to convey a yoke. But a less yoke full of gear. <laughs> you do need this key to get through the gate leading to graveyards. The key also works for the cabin and it's next to the altar that should have something to help you with your trip. Much appreciated. Anything else I should know about the island? I have to say, uh, I have to say not much happens here, as we are a small and peaceful community. I'm truly thankful for your assistance. Please have this shard as well. I have not figured out what it does, but I have a feeling it will help you on your journey. Thank you, I suppose? I'll check the cabinet for anything that might help me. No need to hurry. Please stay as long as you wish. Come talk to me once you are done. Okay. So, uh, beach entry number four. Uh, uh, well, I that think doesn't look healthy. Last time, the goblet of suspicious Coca Cola. <laughs> yeah. UV module. Oh, it's a lever. Okay. I see you found the items in the cabinet. The ultraviolet light should help you keep the creatures outside at bay, or as Overtali told me. I do hope you'll find what you are looking for in the sanatorium. Farewell. Okay, just casually mentioning freaking demons. Oh, and back here. Did any of that actually happen, or... Each entry number five. Hmm. I think you can agree there's something... Paranormal or super... Actually, what the heck is the damn difference between paranormal and supernatural? Mm, not ex not entirely sure. Yeah, for these seem to be used interchangeably a lot, but I do suspect there's some difference. Yeah. I, I need to fix my headphones a little bit. They got it a bit on e Hello oh, and goodbye. Now I know the song stuck in my head. <laughs> okay, which one now? I'm bloody but da da dee da. I just <laughs> forgot the lyrics. Okay, now now I kind of want this. I now I kind of want someone to make a spooky cover of "I'm Blue" <laughs> by Eiffel 65. But you blue and purple. <laughs> Let's see. You, you automatically grab a ledge when you get close to it. After grabbing the ledge, press the look up button to climb. Okay. Oh god, I just remember a friend of mine very long back Oops. had a CD with only that song with a soul root to him. Okay, someone digging by the tree. Uh, I need some kind of tool to dig up whatever is buried here. And they, here's that symbol again. Oh dear. They don't <laughs> sell CDs with only one song anymore, I hope. Uh, singles. I think yeah. they actually still do. Or at least on it's... music stores online, you can still buy music as well as single things. Well, that's di digital then, and not the CD. Yeah. Hello. I oh, found it weird when they did that with CDs. Sounds, well, look, sounds a little bit wasteful. I should not have come here. I managed to escape the townsfolk, but one hit me with a shovel and I'm bleeding bad. I found evidence that Priscilla is being kept locked up in the sanatorium for her own protection. I don't buy it. I managed to raise the bridge and hide the lever so no, so no other unfortunate soul will share my fate. Priscilla, forgive me. Okay, and we got a shovel from that. There, we need to be real close. 
to manage to jump over those things. Okay. Just using this thing sparingly. Wait, you, you found a shovel? Yeah. All right, I'm going to see if I find a coat, a gas mask, and a last gun. <laughs> and then we can storm this place. Okay, so we know that the man in the green uh, jacket is this one. Or no, they they're wear they seem to be wearing pink instead. Okay. Oop. Old skeleton photo. Hmm. And oh, what the hell is this? Yeah, a sacrificial altar. And that's a skeleton hung upside down, so probably not a willing sacrifice. Let's see. Beach entry number six. Article. You can edit your article in the character menu. To write your article, choose the content from, uh, for each page. The content is created by matching a photo to a journal entry. Each saved page will increase the credibility meter. Okay. And uh, how do we get there? C. Let's see. Name Ky Leonis Kyrus. Okay. Born in 1931. Okay. Place of birth, Lithuania. I don't think we ever f see or ever see many character or main characters from Lithuania. Yeah. I, I know I know that couldn't exist. Probably is. It's one of those things that you forget until it's mentioned, and you go, oh, right, that's a place. Yeah. Then all memories comes back. Until you do something, then you forgot about it. Until someone mentions it again. They were not there when we made the photo. That is the man who buried the lever. And they are pointing towards the sacrificial altar, I think? Or actually, no, the oh, altar yeah. is after it. So yeah, they're, they are pointing to where the lever was buried. But wait, look at the hat and the dead, the corpse hat. Hmm, I... Maybe it's their spirit, but this is... Hmm. I, I don't so think... I, I don't think... No. <laughs> I don't think these are one and the same. Okay. There was an article in an old newspaper about an experimental drug that I had heard about before. The soldiers and civilians who returned from the war had had their sanity eroded by the trauma they endured. They only wished there was a cure for a broken mind. I fell asleep while waiting for my shoes to dry and woke up to one of my nightmares. My nightmares are usually in places I can't recognize, but this time I was in the very same cabin. That does not feel right. The article in the newspaper does not make any sense either. It has a warning of sorts to return now or never to leave. There was a hatch in this cabin that was not open when I when I arrived. The intact skeleton of Wal Goldsmithson lay there, and the note inside his pocket said not to trust the outsiders. They do sound like an evil bunch. The note also said yeah, well, the note also asked to bury his remains in his family grave. Yeah, I'm not a religious man, but the man should be put to rest or rest in peace. The view was grim outside the cabin. Sea creatures hovered in the sky and blood swelling in the horizon. Red mist hit the ground and the trees twisted, looking tortured. It was an unusual sight, even for my dreams. In the nightmare I found a church where a priest spoke to me, telling me where to find the sanatorium. The conversation felt so real, I'm sure he spoke the truth. We shall see. Things are getting progressively weirder. The key to the graveyard gate that the priest gave me in my nightmare is still in my pocket. He also told me that the ultraviolet modules should be of use against those blood-soaked things, should I ever encounter them again. This not this does not, this does not make any sense. They are these are completely unlike my nightmares usually. Are this island's nightmares connected to the real world? Going through the woods, I found what appeared to be a peculiar sacrificial altar. A skeleton was tied upside down to the stone, and the dried blood from the victim covered the stone. 
Either time or lo local wildlife have done its tricks to this poor human. Let me just do this. I couldn't find anything about this kind of activity among the islanders in my research. Is this savagery the effect of the exper experimental drug? Or was this you know, long before the time of the first settlers? You'd think that if it was there before, someone would have cleaned up the damn skeleton. In the hellscape I woke up uh, to, I found some sort of res uh, some sort of a resource note. It does work. Da -da 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 -da. This feels like another one of my nightmares, so perhaps it is nothing. Okay, and then lastly we have where we can put all of this stuff together. The island. I traveled to the island of Mythargia to tell the world of what happened here. Or what had happened here. It sure has bid me welcome with sights I could not have imagined. The island inhabited, uh, inhabitants seem to have a well-guarded secret. The sacrificial altar in the middle of the forest marked the possibility that there had been a, uh, had been cult activity among the locals. The skeleton was tied to the altar of stones. The rope suggests to me the person had not volunteered for the sacrifice. Okay, wait. You two, you and him had the same conclusion. Just the reason behind your conclusion were different. Let's see. There. Okay, we can unsave that. Hmm. Okay, do we need to find... Yeah, we need to find more stuff to make... To have more of these pages appear. And more of this content. Okay. Hmm. There. Lever used. Okay, and moving on to somewhere else. Okay, yeah, with X we can turn on that ultraviolet filter. <laughs> Welp. See, I was just thinking if, if I should prank you with Wilhelm scream. I feel like I should have uh, at this timing. <laughs> okay, for some reason the... Okay, for some reason the cursor was stuck in the center of the screen there for a second. Oh, blame the cursor now. Yeah, that, that was for going back to the main menu, not the failed jump. That was fully me. There, okay. <laughs> okay. Death dodge this time. I was about to get ready there to use the sound the track. Sound boards. Oh, I I I, I turned aside because of the crows. A murder of crows. Oh, hello. Bandages. Okay. We're just sealing everything. Like I can see buildings. Maybe this is the village that was mentioned in the articles. We're just stealing everything like a point-and-click adventure protagonist, aren't we? Yeah, in the article, right, those articles. Let's see. Subjects wanted. The Mythargia Sanatorium is looking for volunteers for a new drug against combat fatigue. Support our soldiers by volunteering to find a cure. Visit the front desk for more information. I can see something inside, but the door is locked. Hmm. Really silent. Come on, stupid Mike. Hmm. I tried to move and Mike ignored me. Hmm. Oh, right, that damn flower thing. The long wait. I can't wait for the baby to be born. It feels like a miracle so long we've been waiting for this moment with... Uh, we've been waiting this moment uh, for... with my beloved Vitaly, okay? So it's, that sounds like a bit of uh, translation error. I don't know... Uh, is this some kind of side effect of the pregnancy? But I have such hard time remembering things. Okay, no, this is just someone whose mind is being affected. I often wonder... 
Did I do my daily chores around the house? Or where did I put this and that? Hopefully my head is clearer after the small miracle is born. The time is near. I can't remember. Where's my Vitali? Did he say where he has been all this time? His obsession with that flower is cute, but it's getting to be too much with the baby coming soon and everything. Shall we name the baby Ilarion or Elena? <laughs> okay. <laughs> After we just finished the game with a character named La Ela Elena. I feel so tired. I should get you know, some more rest for the days ahead. Oh, good gods. <laughs> Let's see. Anything more that we can do here? No. Uh, let's see, actually. We need to put more batteries. Okay, each battery is about half, which makes sense. Typically, in these old torches, they would have two batteries. Uh, depends on the model. <coughs> and we just got farted on by a plant. Hello? Vitaly, I was worried sick you would not come back. Hmm? It's about your brother. The townsfolk have him locked up in the barn. They caught him lacing my food with something, and he would not tell me what it was. What has he done? Why would he do such a thing? I'm sorry, I have no idea who you are or what is going on here, but I'll see what I can do for you. The plant really has melted your brain if you don't know your wife anymore. Well, don't just stand there. Go and find out what your brother has been putting into my food. Okay. Some batteries and bandages. Ooh. I can hear the blood-soaked things outside crawling and growling. I went outside to search for my son, but those creatures that came after me right when they saw me. I hid behind some barrels and bushes, but they could, uh, and they could not find me. The only thing that kept them at bay was pointing at them with uh, at them with my lamp with my UV filter on. Yeah, this is this is translation errors here. It was one happy accident that I had left the filter on. I've searched every place I could think of, but to no avail. But what becomes of my son? I'm clinging to my last memory of him, but even that keeps slipping away. What if I never had a son or a husband? Maybe I'm as demented as the people of the town say I am. I will not quit my search until I am sure. Let them say whatever they will. First I lose my beloved Vitaly, and now I lost my son. What did I do to deserve this? Yeah, but she doesn't seem to be... Uh... Entirely well, right rather... in the head. Well, that she seems to rather be a bit old. Okay. So it could just be the art style. Yeah. The art style is something, most things look nice and all, but quickly there. There we go. As soon as they reach up, they are dead. Okay. And they take about a quarter of a battery or a quarter of the bar. I can see something inside that the door is locked. Is that is the building bleeding or something with all that red? Or is the red rolling up on the building? Hmm. Okay, nothing that can be done this way, so let's look the other way then. We'll have to find a barn key or something. Do those only appear if you if we walk in certain directions? It wouldn't make hmm. sense, but you would need to see it. Yeah. Oh, okay, apparently they may, that thing managed to get an attack in. Okay. Wait, you got the attack in? Yep. Okay. Let's see, how much do these bandages heal then? Okay, about a fifth. Okay, better make sure that we don't get hit that much then. Uh, oh, that, yeah, that is definitely something up in the sky. Ow. 
Okay, oh, so fall levels. damage is also a thing. I, I, I thought we could, I thought I could walk this bit further still, but no. It's a horror <laughs> game, of course. There is a high chance of fall damage. Okay, someone on a searchlight. See, hiding. You can hide behind barrels to avoid searchlights. The searchlights are hazardous to you and the enemies. Press the interact button near barrels to hide. Okay. No wonder why is they uh, this searchlight like I get that if they see you they shoot you or something, but the way they phrase it. Now yeah, why does the, the light hurt? Yeah, the, the, the way they phrase it does make you think there's something with the light itself here. Barn key and batteries. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's just avoid the light all the same. And just move back to the barn and see what is in it. Because I'm pretty sure this is where we ended the showcase about. Yeah. And also, why is this... Why are these go do the course doors just barred like that? Hmm. They're not barred. I think that's actually... They actually put a... Well... In front of the builders, it looks like it's barred. Could be. I'll have to take another look when we get back there. Look. Now, I'm hoping whatever these things are, that they don't respawn or anything. Or we'll, yeah, or we'll run out of the batteries quite quickly. Hmm. Oh, bloody heck. He's wrote about them in two batteries, but sometimes it depends on what kind of like. Some of them could take some chunky ones. Oh, uh, hello. Um, yeah, definitely taking a uh, photo. Ivan photo. Really? You think now is the time to take photo, mister? I, I don't mean here, I mean the character here. Yeah. Let's see. I found a flyer stuck to the side of a barn calling for test participants. I thought they had their fair share of test subjects from the mainland, so why would they need the islanders to participate? I'm starting to wonder if they ever had anyone coming in from the mainland from the tests. The island is clearly taking its toll on me. I woke up in another nightmare, just like the one back at the cabin, but this time the pollen from the mysterious flower made me pass out. I met a woman named Yulia, who mistook me for someone named Vitali, who is apparently her lost husband. Seeing no other way out, I will seek this Ivan whom Yulia wanted me to find. Perhaps he has some answers? Let's see, anything new with these? The flower, Yulia, and now Ivan here. Uh, that, that thing only has to turn on accidentally, and Ivan is becoming a... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Help me. Whoever you are, please, you have to release me. Who are you? And what have you done to earn this? Yulia is pregnant, so Maximilian asked me to add antibiotics in her food. She is very mistrustful of the outsiders. She would not have accepted them otherwise. Who is this Maximilian, and why do they trust him so? Uh, why do you trust him so blindly? You are not from around here, are you? Maximilian is one of the outsiders, a leader, if, if you will. He is knowledgeable with medicine, so he has been acting as our doctor since the disappearance of my brother Vitali. Why didn't you come clean about your actions to Yulia? She is the wife of my brother. All I did was uh, for her, yeah, all I did was for her own good and the child's. I have one vial of the antibiotics in my pocket. Please untie me and take the medicine to Yulia. I will take this vial to Yulia. She's going to decide what to do with you. Fair enough. This is what I deserve. Okay, but are you speaking the truth? Or are you... Or what you believe to be the truth? Hmm. Because someone who doesn't know the truth... 
well, would not be lying when they told what was, well, not the truth. Wait, she's... Okay, then, uh, okay. Old state here in the pixel world, I actually like. But the portraits? Yeah, like I said, they look weird. Like, hmm. yeah, they... Like, they look bad, just they some don't feel seem to fit. Like, here's the thing if the game was a bit more dark, gloomy humor, sure. But that it this is not a dark comedy game, as far as I know. That's the book. Nothing. What is that? I got this from Ivan. He said these are antibiotics for you and your baby. Maximilian, yeah, Maximilian asked him to give them to you in secret as you would have refused them. Maximilian? Damn right I would have refused his antibiotics. I suspect he is the reason my beloved husband is missing, but I got no evidence to prove it. I need to talk to him about this at once. I can see here now I can see now you are not Vitali. I have had a hard time recognizing people lately. But you help me, so please take this shard. It may it help you on your journey. Okay, a second shard. And we wake up again. Okay. And they are dead. Now, someone is dead over there. I, I can't tell if there's supposed to be a body in this bed or not. He, he... Uh, that, oh, that's a body. I see the hand. Hmm. Yeah, very thin. And a yeah, leg. That makes sense. It's bone. I'm guessing that this is Yulia then. And yeah, this and is likely Vitali. Hmm. Let's see. Anything here now? Okay, I'm, I'm guessing, I guess we'll be told when the new page is available to be made. Hmm. Hold on. Is the barn still open now? And if so, what is inside it now? Uh, oh. Just scaffolding. Oh. Still got the key. Okay, nobody here, but... Still this machine. A gasoline canister. Yeah, that wasn't there before. And carbine harvester. That seems rather advanced for everything else we've seen so far. Hmm. Then again, we have a rather modern -ish silo here, so maybe I'm just judging these people a bit too much on how their houses are built. Hmm. Could have been they spend the, the most of the money on better farm equipment. True. And if your house is already comfortable, then there's no mu not much need to improve them too much. Yeah, and it could be like if they have better farm machines, they would get more money. This could lead to comfier houses. Let's see. If that Production makes sense. over comfort. Did I just yeah, hear something? Yeah, it is temporarily like. How many times have we in games not to, to done uh, like we focus on productivity over comfort for a short moment? Yeah. And he was saying something about this place looking abandoned for decades. Town well. Okay, it is it is a well in front of the... <laughs> okay. I was already thinking, why, do, why is a bar that's blocking a door having a handle? Yeah, it would be weird if that was the case. Hmm. Let's see, we have a few new entries. I found a missing key to the barn. There I found a man called Ivan tied to a combine harvester by the villagers. He had apparently added something to Yulia's diet, something he claimed to be good for the baby. Maybe for the baby, but clearly not for Yulia. He's, she seemed quite demented. I received a vial of the substance Ivan used to lace Yulia's food. I should deliver it to Yulia. As I brought the news back to Yulia, she was hell-bent on getting some answers out of Max. I fainted again and woke up back at the house with the flower, now wilted. 
There appears to be a connection between this world and the nightmares. It sounds mental, but the objects I have taken with me in the nightmares are with me in the real world. The old town has been abandoned decades ago. It seems less dilapidated than I supposed, considering how long it must have stood empty. While the, solitude on, while the solitude on this island is intoxicating, I can feel a real sense of dread growing within me. The nightmares and their connection to the real world is so unnatural. I don't know if I should include them in the article I'm writing about this island. Probably not, because you'll seem like an after loon. Is another case of something that's almost feel dreamland-like? And for people who wonder what I mean with dreamland, Dreamland is a thing from uh, the Cthulhu Mythos and uh, Conan. So Cthulhu and Conan go hand in hand, actually. What is this? At the far side of the town, there was a house with two skeletons in it. One of the people seemed to have died of some sort of ailment while the other one kept on living there with, near with the deceased. Losing the one you love can break anyone's spirits, and I believe that is what happened here. I can't find anything about the people who actually lived in this house. Maybe I'll find something about them elsewhere. Hmm. It's a crib, but... Hmm. Okay, were there mul I'm guessing there were multiple families on the island then, we were expecting, or presume. Hmm. Nope. Let's see. Hello. Hello. Okay, it's a lot more dilapidated than last we saw. Let's see. Bandage and battery. Oh, oh hello there. Wait. This looks like the church we found earlier, but in the yeah, real world. Yeah, but there's something off here. <laughs> Look at him. Uh, I think Has he's... He been... yeah, he... He, he looks skeletonized, but his bones are hanging together really well. No, I say he looked more mummified. Uh, Unless that's how they make skeletons skulls here. For it, the head looks a bit weird. It looks more like a mummy than a skull. Uh, did, did you drink the, uh, the forbidden cola? No. Hmm. Okay, we can get up here. Oh, hello. Let's see. We have gone too far in the darkness for there to be salvation for us. There is no talking sense to my fellow islanders. By taking my own life, I am, I am dooming myself to eternal damnation, and still I don't see any other way out. Forgive me, Heavenly Father. Damn it. Hmm. Now I think of the uh, YouTuber slash VTuber known as Heavenly Father. I think you know him from being Ooh. part of. Uh, I think he has been being part of some Roger Badger videos. Mm, don't think I've seen them ever. Then. Oh wait, he he's also been in Takahata Show. He's the guy with a green coat and a gas mask and a big uh, pair of sunshades of some kind. Mm. Donated to the town folk of Mythargia by Andreas Gilsman IV. The bell will always guide you. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we found a few crucified skeletons. So, yeah, something was definitely going on here. And I don't know if we could climb up there in the dream, or rather the nightmare. Hmm. Still nothing new here. Okay, this is where we found the bandits and battery. Hmm. Okay, just what the hell is going on in this place? Church cross photo. 
and crucified. Hmm. The graveyard key. And on we move. Totally not creepy. Are you right the hill? Yeah. It's, you sure? The, the priest told me the sanatorium was past this graveyard. You sound a little bit creeped out. In loving memory of the Smith Smithson family. I hope your soul rests in peace now. Hello? Thank you, stranger, for granting me my dying wish. Now I can lay next to my beloved wife in peace. I saw the argument you had in the cabin and what the other man did to you. No one should die in a dank pit like that just to be forgotten. How, how could you have seen it? Nobody was there but me and Maximilian. Oh, that was Maximilian in blue, okay. I know I was not followed. My dog was guarding outside. Who are you? If I could explain how I saw the argument to you, I would. I can't, so I won't. I'm a reporter making a story about this island. Who was that man who killed you? Why did he do it? What did you find out? I didn't know Max uh, allowed reporters here. But something tells me you didn't exactly ask for permission. Very well. I will tell you what I know. From the very beginning... Yep. And no itching. I hit the shoe, <laughs> so... Let's see. From the very beginning, I was our community's fisherman. As the outsiders came, I helped them with the sanatorium. They asked me to bring patients to the island in secret so our little island would remain hidden from the world, and the patients would receive the best care possible. All seemed fine at first. After a while, I did notice that for all the patients I brought in, I was never tasked with taking any uh, back to the mainland. The staff would not tell me anything either. One day I decided to confront Max about my concerns over the matter. We met in the cabin, and you know what, how that then went down. This is shocking. I don't remember reading about any of this in the newspapers. How did they manage to keep this a secret? This is an insular community. What else do you need to keep it a secret? You were the first per uh, persona non grata to arrive on this island in a long time. If you manage to leave here, you are the one to tell the world what happened here. I wanted to take my daughter with me to the mainland. She was wronged by one of the founders, and the whole community followed suit. I wanted a new life for us, away from here. If you find my dear Lauren, please tell her that I never stopped trying to get her back. If I find you, Lauren, I promise to pass on your words. My friend Vitaly gave this shard to me to keep safe, but I have not been able to find him. Can you hold on to this shard and give it back to Vitaly in case you might find him too? It is my time to go now. And off he is. Okay. And he looks a bit more normal compared to the rest. Yeah, since he, especially he wasn't in a, well, in a nightmare world. Let's see. Did we, I Ooh. seems we missed something in the town. Or do we go back there eventually with something? Passing through the gate to the graveyard, the place felt as all graveyards do. Eerie. Seems like the Keeper has not kept this place in any kind of shape. I must pass through to the to the sanatorium to find out what befell this island. Still nothing here? Still nothing here. Hmm. Okay, just carefully keep forward. I don't expect them to put bear traps here, but, well... I hope I expect you to get step on a uh, bear trap just for that. Po for that, not po- mm. I'm the a Swedish word and I used it wrongly. Andreas Gilsman IV, second leader of the church. One of the three founding members of the of this island. Okay. And also the one who donated Mommy. the bell. Hold on. One, two, three, four. Okay. There's a puzzle here. One we have neither the 
way to activate or solve so far. Hmm. Get the stairs down. Hello. Oh, he's so comfy. Uh, what? Wh why is there hot break? Uh, hot beat. I mean, oh bloody heck! Because the... we're here again. Hey, welcome to hell. <laughs> Hello, Rom. Hey, Rom. <laughs> what is happening to me? <laughs> How are you doing? I, uh, nah, I just woke up. Okay. Yeah. There, there. Oop. And next time, LA Noir. Anyways, um. I'm gonna say something, but I forgot what I was gonna say. You will buy me a burger? I don't have money. I overlooked that damn thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, if I remember correctly, you can buy all the Steam games for about $3 American. Yeah, the, the bridge builders thing or some they're, they're having a big sale, like 90% off, or bridge constructor. Well, uh, well, yeah, Warner Brothers has basically got up to 90% off for all of their games. Okay. Which Holy. includes Fear, which includes the Fear games, because Fear 2 and 3 were published by them. Okay. And I, th I think I see the solution here. 4, 2, 1, 3. Four, two, one, three. There we go. The heck is this? The townsfolk called me a saint. I wanted to be, but all of my actions were quite the opposite. I brought wealth to the island and helped the village to prosper, but my flesh was weak. I committed adultery while pretending to be the virtuous man. I am deeply ashamed of it. I decided to take the secret to my grave. I don't want to bring shame to my name as I live. Uh, you, my dear, li love you, my dear little something. Okay. Well, he just need to take the letter out of the envelope properly. Yeah, I'm thinking the paper probably decayed some. But yeah, this this game that we're playing, uh, Ram, is Mythargia, which yeah, we're. Uh, Kind of in a sort of Silent Hill situation here. They can't go any further that way. Looks homely, doesn't it? Okay, this thing has reset. So let's avoid it. <laughs> okay, hide behind the barrels. Yeah, for some reason, this light will hurt us if it shines upon us. So, yeah. Okay, and that is definitely not a fountain running with blood. <laughs> definitely not. I would find it funny if instead of Battery. blood, that was actually the symbiote from Spider-Man. <laughs> and, oh, hello. Well, now I, I said you have just... yet, not demons. Are you okay, sure that... you did your accident is someone the same you're known as Carnage? Probably not. Well, Carnage is dust now then. Anyways, I gotta go. I'm tired and food's here, so Okay, enjoy. Good luck, you guys. Be safe, Rob, and have a good feast. Yeah. Uh, yes, who the hell are you? Oh, Lauren. This letter was hidden inside Andreas Gil uh, uh, Gillesman's mausoleum. It does reveal that you're... Uh, okay, we kind of skipped... <laughs> we kind of sequence break a bit, it seems. It does reveal that your words are true, and I'm sorry for what was done to you. No one deserves what you went through. At least he went to his grave with guilt and pain. I hope his soul will never rest in peace. You have been so mistreated here. Will you be all right? I will be. I'm so thankful for your help. I do have one last thing to ask from you. Please tell everyone the, the truth about what happened here so that Andreas's name will be ruined forever. Please take this shard. It will help you to discover the truth about this place. 
Okay, what the hell was she supposed to say otherwise then, before we sequence breaked? I hope we got the, the notes about it. Well, we'll see here. Uh, yeah, let's see. There was a door open to a mausoleum which I found belonged to this island's founding father, Andreas Gilsmans IV. Uh, <clears throat> the lavish mausoleum tells me the locals kept this man in high regard. His remains rested on a pedestal surrounded by a cross, worn tapestry and four extinguished torches with numbers above them. Perhaps the description plate and the torches are connected somehow? Very obviously <laughs> pointing you towards that. Andreas was a saint in the eyes of the people of this island, but he had a secret that would destroy him. He had wronged his wife, and worst of all, he had wronged Lauren. He was ashamed of what he had done to the end. Lauren was happy he uh, had not found peace, and I can certainly understand. As I passed the fountain in the graveyard, I felt the sense of accumulating nightmares dread. It welled up deep within me, trying to get out. The world turned red and I saw with my own eyes the transformation of the fountain statues. Back at the cabin, I was thrown into the hellscape, and at the house the flowers pollen affected me. This time I just passed out with no apparent cause. I must figure out the cause to these episodes. Okay, let's check entry one. Is he passing through? Yeah. Still okay. nothing here. For the other entry seem to be connected, unlike that one. So, okay. Did the sequence break or? Yeah, only a little bit, I think. We skipped her dialogue. Of she was, she was probably going to, she was probably going to, she was probably accusing him, or Gillisman, uh, Gillisman, Gillisman. Uh, of uh, yeah, being not so saintly as he pre uh, pretended to be, and asked us to go find evidence. I guess we found the letter a bit too early by a mis coincidence. Uh, okay, this is a puzzle. Memory of family, Lowell. The reflection of your kindness will be seen in our community forever. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I can't seem to... Okay, we need... Hmm. One of these has an upside-down cross. Uh, in memory of family... Okay, they need to be mirrored. Okay. We need to mirror these things. Okay. So this one goes what? here. This one goes here. I should like, did you find that note by solving the puzzle? Yes, it caused a wall to disappear and a note to appear behind it. So basically, you simply break it because you got curious of the puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you got curious of it in the wrong order. There. Is it really this simple? But also a little bit tedious. Hmm. Yes, it is that simple. Okay, if you started randomly moving those around, you would be completely and utterly lost on what order they yeah, need to be. I don't like those puzzles. I'm not really able to reset. There's a lot of trees with skeletons hanging in them. I can hear. Okay. Oh uh, well, it's just a short trip around. Right, that's it. I'm gonna prepare up with the sunboard. Hmm. Now you've passed this piece of forest. I should be yeah, uh, should be at the asylum. There it is. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> You played it perfectly to get me to jump early. I, I thought you were to fall into a pit again, not to, just a small hill. Well, there's your pit. <laughs> okay, take two. Hopefully with less bear trap. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. There and there. Okay, you can just barely grab on there. Don't make bear puns near the bear traps, please. This kind of morbid practice was not mentioned anywhere. You can see where the man with the note tried to escape. Photo? Yeah, it's a hanging tree. And the notes. Let's see. Okay, we missed some things to photograph. Hmm. I fell through a hole in the, into a family tomb. The writing on the wall says it belongs to a family Lowell, loved by many. I have not found any information about this family, but I need to know how they are tied to the history of this island. There are three caskets with various heirlooms set in front of them. The far side of the tomb looks like a mirrored version of the front, but without the memorabilia. Cracking this clue is the only way to get out of this tomb. This place certainly isn't the cheeriest there is, but I still don't do not expect to find a I still did not expect to find a hanging tree in the middle of the forest. What were these villagers up to? What did these men and women do to deserve this? I hope to find more clues about this this cult. That's the only way I can describe it. And still nothing more here. Is that because we're missing things? But Possibly. There it is. Hmm. Oh, hello. Piles of corpses. I hope this is not the end result of the vaccine testing. Well, if anything is a, a page in this, that is likely to be it. Or not. Okay, really, what? Hmm. What is going to be enough for another page in your article, dudes? What is going on? Hmm. Let's see, how many batteries do we have left? Five. Okay, so I can use a few. Also, we found we had found this gasoline canister, but it's not being used yet. Okay, almost fell down again. Hmm. This must be it. I need to find more supplies and investigate further. Okay, sanatorium entry one. I've reached what I think is the sanatorium. There is an old abandoned looking building attached to a building that looks much more modern. I should investigate the older wing first. It may hold some information about what has been done here. Hmm. I very much doubt that we'll find much good in here. Evacuate. This building is about to collapse. Everyone needs to relocate to our encampment until the construction of our new facility is finished. You will get more information from the staff. Regards, the staff. Okay. This place definitely is dilapidated, but it doesn't look like it's about to crumble any second now. The building was very old, possibly from around the 1850s. It felt like the roof in the hallway could come down at any moment. They had had electricity in this wing, judging by the looks of it. Okay, apparently I was wrong. Oop. Yeah, oh, there's what we needed to use that for, okay. I need a fuse to get the electricity going. I think okay. it's collapsed roof over there. Yeah. Okay, now to find a fuse. Hmm. I guess this means that if you do miss something crucial, you could have need to go all the way back over. 
unless the game is smart enough to tell you i f i feel like i need <clears throat> there's i need to find something more before going on or something but i don't think the game is of that quality i think i th i think the reviews for this game were positive or mixed and how Love of mm. on hill. At this, if you keep this up, we probably end up calling you Killian the Fallen. What's this? It's Bard. It's hard to tell where there is floor and where there is not. But I think that's yeah. kind of the point with you needing to use the flashlight more than them actually using. Yeah. Kind of why I used the goofy sound a bit too early earlier. For I thought you fell into a pit. This ended up instead of a. Yeah, basically the game tricked me, which led you to accidentally walk into a trap. Okay, should be a bit more you sparingly with the flashlight, I think, because we used that up real quick. Second founder photo. These must be statues of the original founders of the village. Now, this sort of lettering can be annoying to read because the spaces between can be yeah so small that you think it's the same. It's a, yeah, it's one word instead of two. Yeah. Centurium entry five. And the modern wing was an impressive sight. The news articles I read about this building before my departure did not do justice to its sheer enormity. The manpower needed for the maintenance of a building this size must have been considerable. I wonder how many people actually lived here. Perhaps there is a list of all the employees. Okay, the other two are probably in the other wing after we've, well, got the electricity working. But we need a fuse first. Okay, those 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 flowers seem oddly tended to, even though there is a lot of stuff growing between them, it seems. Huh. Strange symbol. What strange symbol? Second founder. Oh it, oh it's that symbol again. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Oh, come on, that's cheating. We can't even see it even when we're looking up. Let's see. Yeah, let's look inside. Okay, this place has working electricity. Your wellness starts here. At the reception? <laughs> yeah, I think you needed to step back a bit, <laughs> dude. A bit more than that. Leonas. Let's see. Is that symbol again? Let's see. Sanatorium of Mythargia. You are here. Elevator, stairway, and access. Okay, there's quite a lot of rooms to this place. Hmm. Let's see. Library, mess hall, administrator, recovery ward, meeting rooms, visitors, offices, psychiatric ward, medical ward, Lobby, staff quarters, and the basement. Hmm. This place is going to be a bit of a maze, I suspect. Uh, room 4 key. Why the, who the hell has a portrait of that size here? Week 7 patient transfers. Avalion Priscilla. Priscilla has been transferred to psychiatric ward cell 2. She's getting increasingly violent after the Void Flower experiment. Void Flower? Is that the flower that we found? Uh -oh. or Orwell Giorgio. George Orwell. Giorgio was transferred to operating room in the old wing for the last set of experiments. The door to the operating room will be disabled for everyone's safety. That totally doesn't sound suspicious and worrisome. Was it that flower we found earlier, perhaps? Yeah, I'm guessing that was the that's the void flower. It, Let's see. Did they bring something from the other side over for experimentation? 
sounds possible. Bandages. Hmm. I'm half expecting stuff to start jumping out at us here. Yeah. I agree. Hmm? I expect almost anything to jump out at us at the any moment. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you. did the Quaxius scare you? Yeah, it made me startle a bit. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Nothing in these rooms. Yeah, I gotta be more careful that startle you. <laughs> and room four. Okay, what's in here that it needs to be locked? Um, it would be a good place for a photo, but I need to restore the lights. Yep. You've got a flash on your camera, don't you? That should work. I, I, I don't think that actually would be make a good way to get a good uh, photo. Probably. Also, is is that a is that a corpse or a, if that's a skeleton, that's being held up really well somehow. Wait, I, I, I think there's flesh to the corpse. Then it has it's beard mummified. and hair. It, it's mummified. Yeah, which, again, if what I'm saying is correct that they have been mummified, what the heck <laughs> is the going on for? This doesn't look like a location for that would allow mummification that well. Yeah. Let's see. Damn it. Okay, the last two batteries. I'm going to save these for another possible combat encounter. Let's see, we're in the psychiatric ward now. These are st here's up and down. And it is the recovery ward. Okay. Hmm. Now, this place is going to be a bit maze-like. Wait, what? Why is there... St it's stuck. Okay, this, this must be to the roof. Okay, I was thinking, why hmm. is that there? Psychiatric reception. Again, that photo. Oop, hello. Okay. Hmm. Now, let's go to the basement. If there's a generator or anything in this place, it's going to be there. Oh, there's a safe under the table. Okay. Okay. Down. And down. This That is uh, psychiatric. Here we go. Need three fuses. Okay, where are we going to find blasted fuses in here? Hmm. Wait, why is there a further downstairs here? Uh-oh. And... There's a keypad on the door, but it needs electricity. Why is there a vault underneath the basement? Okay... This place is flooded as well. Could it be because of the rain or something? Hmm. Okay, I hope we don't have to just scavenge all over the damn place to find these fuses. Hmm. Yeah, padded cells. Hmm. And this is where... Yeah, that's where Patricia was sent. So, of course, it's locked. Hmm. In the security room. Uh, why the fuck is... What the fuck is that? Okay, at least we can see enough to make a note about all of this. 
Even if apparently our camera doesn't have enough of a flash for everything. I found a list of patient transfers between wards. The sanatorium did not have many patients, and I'm beginning to understand that they were not here to be treated, but to be tested for something. There was a man tied to a bed in the medical ward. He had been forgotten in the, in the, midst, of, of the, uh, in the midst of the evacuation and was left there to rot. What a miserable way to go, knowing there is no hope of escape. I found an odd apparatus in the psychiatric ward security room. It was a flower in a glass tank with pipes and some sort of table to operate it. It looks like they attempted to harness the nightmare's power of the flower. The pipes go through the walls into the ward's holding cells for use on the patients. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> That's why there were pipes in there. Yeah, to distribute the gas. We are about to end stream, I see now. Yeah. Okay, let's see. We've looked through all of these places. Let's go to the medical wards and then go up there. Let's let us let us just go left uh, to right and up and down as much as possible. Okay. That's the timer going off. But there's not actually any stairs here. Let's see. Well, I guess the lobby is as good a place as any to end this off. Okay. Uh, pardon? No. Uh, that, just, just, that, that just jumps immediately to uh, the desktop instead of going to the uh, main menu. Okay. <laughs> All right. What the heck? No. Also, did we burp at the same time? About, I think. I've, um, get the concern how in sync we are. Okay, let's go look for someone to raid. Let's see. We have a lot of people online. We have Jackson Sam playing Iron Lung. Reef the Leaf with Survival Kids. Let me double check everything. It should be muted. What the heck is Survival Kids? Okay, it's a Game Boy. You know, a Game Boy Color game from the look of it. Okay. Schwalbe is playing Under Rail. Codenamed Ferret is playing a game called Stallcraft. The heck is this? A Starcraft parody? And of course the blood... Oh yeah, this, this, this looks very much like some sort of parody. From the, the footage in the corner that's not being well blocked up by the stupid ads. Okay, I'll, I'll have to see about updating my ad blocker or something for Twitch. Three, two, one, channel gets banned for ad blocking. Okay. Uh, Grim the Wolf is still doing that hot sauce stream. And, okay, the Stallcraft is some sort of stalker like shooter or something. Uh, oh, Stallcraft, Stalkercraft, yeah. Okay. Hmm. I may oh. I may look that up a bit. This could be interesting. Some sort of mix between Stalker and Star uh, and Minecraft. Okay, are, are, are all of those oh. players or a, a multiplayer Stalker game would be quite interesting. Uh, let's see. Lazarus is online with Mages of Mistralia. Mistralia. Okay, where the heck is this supposed to be? I, Okay, I was thinking I was thinking of Mysteria, which is one of the D&D settings. The heck is this? Hmm. You can't Yeah, I don't recognize <laughs> this. It's some sort of fighting game, but I can't tell much more beyond that. Or well, magic fighting game. Uh let's see. Next we have Jim McGinger who is playing Crosscode. Uh yeah, I I don't know if I've said this on stream before, but once we are done with L.A. Noir with Ram, I kind of want to find a, a space or a place where we can uh, stream CrossCode a lot with uh, Riz, not Riz, Liz as a co-host, because they were they really wanted to co-commentate on that, and <laughs> Lazarus just managed to drown that character. Oh dear, uh, that would be interesting. Let's see. 
I'm a Flanker is playing Call of Duty Warzone. Torpid Typist is playing Mega Man 8. Redacted Cap is still playing Super Metroid. Big V Streams are playing Star... Uh, not Saints Row the Third. Why was I going with Star something? Todd Scaly Tail is playing Party Animals. And Halloween is playing Stalker Anomaly. And that's about it. Hmm. I'm tempted to say Iron Long here. And it isn't a very really long is... game. And I think pretty much everyone who is known about it is, has looked it up already once and knows what happens. Yeah. No, mm. Wait, isn't it still early access? No, it's out already. And it's it's just a small game. I think it was even, I think it was made for a game jam. Hmm. I don't know. People were very impressed by it for how unsettling it was. Yeah. Hmm. I'm I'm curious I'm curious about this game that Lazarus is playing and I even though I think we rated them somewhat recently or even freaking yesterday I want to say Lazarus or do you want anyone else or do you want to suggest anyone I'm else up for Lazarus okay there I I'm still forgetting to keep a bloody note about the, all the people we rated recently but I will slash raid and paste no not I need to put that in my own chat, not his. That won't work otherwise. <laughs> otherwise, it'll just go, no, 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 not your place. Okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Let's see. Tuesday and Thursday, we'll be continuing with Dawn of War. We'll probably finish Dawn of War 2 on Tuesday and get started on Dawn of War 2 Chaos Rising on Thursday. Possibly. I already thought we were to finish the game last time, but, well, <laughs> that, was, well that was obviously proven wrong. And, yeah, in the weekends, we will continue with Deadbolt and Mythargia. And, yeah, I'll, I'll install some more spooky games for us to uh, play after we finish with those, because I, I don't think both of those are long games, so I definitely need to keep some uh, backups ready. Um... Yeah. Also yeah, I'll have to, to see how many next spooky year ones well. I have left. Yeah, I, I, we're saving. I, we're we're saving Dark Side Detective for next year. I will need to make a note for myself to actually remember that. Yeah, <clears> make a note and nail it to the wall. Okay. And let's see. I don't think there's anything else really to say. So other than well, thank you everyone else for watching now or later. Thank you, Pyro Sue, for lurking, and I saw Random Marker was also lurking for a bit. And thank you, as always, Drakir. You're welcome, as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining. And yeah, like I said, Dawn of War, more Deadbolt, more Mythargia next week. But until then, thank you all again for watching, and have a nice day. And until then, be safe, everyone, and watch out for Undead Seagulls. Yeah, it started to raid a bit late, but I will. <laughs> until next time. Be safe.